Welcome, welcome, friends. Cyan City Zone. So, <laughs> this is really cool. I love the color palette here. It's great. I like it. It's pleasing. Um, uh, to get, again, to kind of draw some comparisons with Mega Man, this really, in some ways, looks a lot like Mega Man. Um, which is neat. Is this my, uh, this is my stomp shield. I don't know what, this spike shield or stomp shield or some crap. Um, I love this level. This is great. This is wonderful. It's like, this layout is kind of like Hydro City. What? Okay, you jump on something and can bounce on it, you bounce like crazy eye. See that? That is cool, I like that. We have not, that has not happened to me as of yet. But at this point, um, I want to do it with everything. All things. I want to bounce incredibly high. I want to bounce incredibly high. Higher than anyone. To bounce high is my real test. To bounce high is my cause. Bounce high shield. All right, I'm gonna stop. So we're gonna call this the the bounce high shield, though. So yeah, the the cyan and the red really, really, really works. There's a bubble shield down there, but let's be honest, I'm not gonna touch that. Not when I've got the Bounce High Shield. Bounce High Shield is, is my jam at this point, from now on and forever. All about the Bounce High Shield. Didn't bounce very high off at that time, but whatever. So, yeah. I don't know what I have to say, really. I think that this city is probably built on sugar. We've got hovercrafts in the background. Um, lots of them. It looks like there's some traffic back there. I, I, that's always something that drives me nuts when I see like hovercrafts and traffic. Like you've got all these flying vehicles, and they go in like they don't they don't like go in in. It's like there's a road. But they can go anywhere, so what's the point of that? I don't understand it. Like, there's no reason to have a road. A fake road. This is not a cool looking enemy. I mean, he's a cool looking enemy, but... I think he has... Is that a fedora? Is this... Does this enemy have a fedora? What is that? I think that this... That is... That is I think that's what that is. It's probably not, but I'm not going to take it as anything but... That's a fedora. I'm telling you. Therefore, he must be destroyed. Thank you. Goodbye. Fedora wearing loser. Friggin' nice guys ruining the fedora. Reddit ruining the fedora. Sonic got through Act 1 by killing that big bug thing with the fedora. Blah, 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 blah. Time. Rings. Total. Huh. Oh, yes. This is one of the best tracks on the soundtrack, might I add. It is so good. I could literally just stop and listen to it, but I won't. I will, however, tell you. See there. Look. Like, there. What is this? I was going to start talking about the hovercrafts, but this is interesting. Okay. All right. Okay. There is no complaints from me here. Sonic with some kinds of powers. This is kind of like... That didn't work. Um, this is... I'm not going to complain here. Sonic... I don't know how Sonic realized he could do this, though. Like, I think if I were to gain the ability to shoot energy... I wouldn't realize it. Like, I, I would have no idea. Because how, how often do you point your finger at something and mentally go, take that? I don't think I ever do that in, in a normal day. That worked. <laughs> you assumed that I got hit. Sorry, dude. Mr. Game Making Fella, I've got a, a hat that allows me to shoot energy. I'm not too worried about getting hit. 
I'm gonna take it nice and cautious like. And I'm going to take any, oh, I dropped it. Oh, it looks like I, I can get it back. Okay, like there's no reason to have that extra hat there. I guess maybe if, oh yes. Maybe if you run out of, maybe if you die or something, you can go back and get the hat. But look, everybody's like on, on the same route with the uh, the hovercraft in the background. That's what's bothering me. Because I feel like if I, I mean, I'm not, here's the thing. I'm not saying that there wouldn't be need for regulation. There would definitely be need for regulation, but let's just be honest when we say this. Um, people, it doesn't seem like that's how a hovercraft-based society would work with, like, air roads. It just, it seems stupid to me. They have that in Star Wars. They have that in Star Trek. They have that in everything that I can recall easily. Yeah, I don't want to not have that. Are you joking? This is the ability, like, this is a different game. It's a completely different game this way. And I like it. Okay. See, there's a thing there. Okay, I can't just go through it. That's really, that's not irritating. I mean, it is irritating. It's not not irritating. It's very irritating. Okay. That's all I needed to do. I should have done that in the first place, but I didn't. Yeah, I'm just, I'm not going to go back for it. I'm going to fight the urge. No! No, no! Oh, dang. Oh, but this is my jam. You hear that beautiful, like... Oh, this music. I almost just don't want to talk. It's like, that's the, the big problem with sometimes in Sonic games. I love the music so much, and this game is absolutely 100% following that tradition. Um, I don't want to talk over them because I just want to listen to the music, but I can't do that because that would be the worst video of all time, which is me like bumbling through a Sonic game I don't know. Um, all right, so. Okay, all right, all right, guys. That's level two, all right. Do, 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 do. So, what's next? Okay, uh, just uh, I will say, like, I'm not, I'm not upset by this because, frankly, the level's great. Uh, but this is the first one I think that hasn't changed um, sprite sets through the level. Each zone. Pretty sure every single one of them has had a different sprite set. Like, similar sprite sets, just they've changed the layout, the theme, a little bit. Which I think is very cool. But on the other hand, this is such a good sprite set, maybe he just was kind of thinking... You know what, I don't want to do that. I like this enough. But this has a very, like, Hydro City feel to it in layout. But, like, the aesthetic that they're going for is entirely different. And I like that. And I like that a lot. And that was a stupid move on my part. But, I don't know. It doesn't really matter how stupid a move is on my part. You're not watching this because you think that I'm an expert at this game. You know very well that this is not a game I have played before. You know this. Yes, I've played Sonic games, but like Sonic games, like when you do a blind playthrough, you don't know what you're doing. You don't have any idea what anything does. Because, you, I mean, you can make some mild predictions. Like, like I said, I'm kind of making a few this feels a little bit like a Hydro City style zone. Um, 
And they've created this sort of spike gimmick for this act. Which is cool. It's not bad. I'm not upset about. It's a decent gimmick. But my point is... And then we have some chemical plant. So we're dealing with some chemical plant, some hydro city. And... Basically... Oh boy, that's... That's so not cool. Okay. Well, alright. That was stressful. But whatever. So, launch base, Hydro City, and, um... Chemical Plant is basically... Like, we're definitely in something that's meant to be reminiscent of all of those levels. Because I've seen stuff that makes me think of those. So, you can kind of make some predictions as well as to how these levels are going to play out. But... Um, then there's the fact that this is not created by Sonic Team, so you kind of don't. Like, there's various things. I don't really... Okay. I can't really come up with a good reason why you would have uh, running shoes in this level. I wouldn't want them. And they're probably to tempt you into grabbing them. Which is mean. Uh, but it's it's a it's a tried and true Sonic tactic, I'm not gonna say. They they bait you into things like you're like, oh I'm gonna grab the power up, but the power up is detrimental to you in the area that you're in. Okay, so we're looking around. In the back, we have a giant fin. It looks like that's Flying Battery, if you ask me. Uh, flying Battery with its ridiculously bad attempt at camouflage. I think the building that Sonic and Tails are in perhaps has fallen, or is fallen. That was cool. Ah. Uh, okay. Let's be honest. This is the coolest thing that has happened in a 2D Sonic game. He's running up the building that's falling. Now he's jumping from missile to missile. Sonic is, is so good. Like, I will say, like, it's very clear that uh, we are never going to play a Sonic game like that because I think our brains might explode trying to figure out what we're supposed to do, but... Okay, so Science City's boss zone seems like we might be facing off against Flying Battery, which is kind of cool. Using, um... We're using Cannon Sonic to our advantage here, giving ourselves some obstacles. Um, is this a boss where, like, there's not an actual boss, but it's just kind of like a, a thing you have to get through? Because it kind of seems like that so far. Tails has got kind of like a... I don't know what you would call this thing. But it's a thing. I will say it's definitely a thing. That's what it is. It's a thing. It's a flying thing that does the thing. Oh! Oh, we're getting clever. We're, we're using our, our lack of um, trust for the ability to go through behind them. Can you notice, like, I can easily intersect with the propeller be Like, the actual machine driving the propeller behind. See right there? You can go through it. But there's going to be people who are playing this that don't realize you can, you can go through it. They're going to think, I can't go through that. I have to avoid this whole thing. Just, it's a clever it's a clever ploy on the part of um, okay all right well this is Sonic's first encounter with better metal Sonic because that's what this is um, Sonic 3's metal Sonic is so much cooler than previous metal Sonic Sonic 2's Metal Sonic is, like, powerfully lame. 
Everybody likes Sonic CDs, Metal Sonic, though. I don't. I like Sonic 3s, which I'm dealing with right now. And he's not as difficult as he was in Sonic 3, I'll say that. Yeah, it's... Yeah, there we go. I'm comfortable again. I can attack again. Stop with defensive posturing. I had a feeling he had to be almost done. I hit him quite a few times. <laughs> he's doing the Sonic pose, and he started it in midair because I was jumping. Oh, Eggman! You're. Oh, what? He's made a bunch of smoke or fog of smoke bomb? Uh oh. Well, that's a big machine with Eggman likeness to it. Looks like Eggman, is what I meant. So we need, uh, yeah, we're gonna, I can't tell what's off in the background. Give me those binoculars. Okay, floating island. That's not normal. We were talking about how there's a bunch of sugar in one area, but no, floating island, that's really not normal. Why was I thinking about things in terms of what's physically possible and natural? So the Death Egg, which is a massive Death Star type machine, uh, has landed there, which look at that. It was too much for it, it's falling. Oh, looks like we're encountering the next zone, which you're going to have to come back tomorrow for. Thank you for watching, clicking like, and for your comments. Uh, my Patreon campaign is going very, very well. Uh, thank you also for that, uh, for your monetary donations to me monthly. Hopefully this will eventually allow me to make much better um, actual videos and much more Let's Play videos. Um, I don't think that this is going to get any better than this. <laughs> Joke's on you if you like it. In all seriousness, I do really appreciate you watching. Uh, thanks for coming by today. Come back tomorrow. My name is Peter Coffin. Watch me off and...